stuck in the hood. Just stand right there in the hood. <laughs> okay, today we're going to talk about our new horse shelter and how we build it. This is in no way a tutorial on how to build a horse shelter. But with that being said, we think this is going to last for thousands and thousands of years. Or maybe just my lifetime, so I don't have to build this again. But anyways, we thought it would be fun to show how we took this section of the barn down, which was a small, very old chicken coop that was falling apart, and how we made it into this. So we gathered videos as we made it and took pictures, and we'll just talk it through. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay. <laughs> Here is a video or a picture of what we're dealing with bef before we start building. This needed to come down and ironically, <laughs> or divine intervention, I'm not sure, um, this part right there blew down about two days after I took this video. That little section there blew down and we had to kind of help it get down with a chainsaw at the very end. But okay, there we are. We're starting to collect our um, supplies. And now Maria is taking hay out of the old, the old little barn, which was a chicken coop. And this was not our chicken coop, but when I bought this place about 18 years ago, that little building was there and I could tell it was a chicken coop. And we had used it just for hay storage. It's too small for the big animals to get into. So there we are taking it down. There's our helpers, Ruger and Candy, our adopted macaws another helper Daniel and there I am taking the old tin off of the roof that was really falling apart and there was several layers of roofing and it was all put on with roofing nails so we had to be careful and use a magnet when we were done working to make sure we collected all the roofing nails so no animals would step on it on the nails and get hurt and there I am taking off some wood this wood we are going to reuse and we'll show you that at the end and you saw a peak of it at the beginning i knew i wanted to do something with this pretty wood i had a great view on the roof for all kinds of happenings there's lexi our newly adopted mustang <laughs> and one thing i wanted to mention about the barn we're only taking down 25 percent of the barn because that's what i can afford right now wood is expensive right now and it just seemed manageable to take down a section of it and then we'll keep moving from there another year or maybe this year i don't know what i do without the chainsaw there i'm cutting some of the wood that's kind of rotten into just wood to burn firewood okay then we'd have a snow day we were going back from like it was like spring and winter were fighting and we knew spring would win in the end but anyways, the, any kind of moisture is a huge blessing. We love it. Spring snows are just wonderful for, for the water, for our grass. It's really beautiful. I thought that was just so pretty. There is Maria and some of the guardian helpers taking out the floor. More helpers. We had so many helpers all the time. And the guardians like to camp out around us and just watch. It was really a nice time being up there. I would say that taking down the, the old barn was way more labor intensive and time intensive than just putting up the new shelter. And there I am dulling my chain on the dirty wood. And finally, we could start building. I think this was a late Thursday on a Thursday night. We used all treated wood. It's one thing if I could redo the hay barn, I wish I would have used treated wood. So we're using treated wood here. The holes were very easy to dig because of the soft ground. And I went down three feet for the holes. And we used 12 foot two by fours mostly. And a for that header there, Let's see, what was that? A two by 10. And let's see, two by six is on the top. 
and we had a snow day and we were finished by Sunday night, believe it or not, even with that snow day. And we had to take down this wall here of the old building. So now it was exposed and we were like ready to go full time. This was a Saturday night here. And we said, all right, it's exposed. We need to, uh, the animals need shelter and we got to go faster. We made a trip into town and okay. Yeah. Late Saturday night, we had our supplies ready for Sunday morning. Right now my mom is running, so I'm going to make power balls. So we had our breakfast, we had our Powerball snacks ready, and we just worked all Sunday. It was actually a lot of fun. We did not get tired. Somehow we just kept rolling and rolling, and we had it finished by that night, except for the interior walls. There's the rafters. You know, and everything just fit. I did not have to cut wood at all. And thankfully we squared up everything well and I think that's why everything just fit. We went with the 12 foot by 12 foot and it was nine foot tall, nine feet tall. And there we are, we're putting, starting to put on the tin. And I forgot to say, we put in a two by six post. We call it the $51 post because it was so expensive. <laughs> but I really wanted one good post where the animals were gonna be walking around it. And there we are putting up the back tin. We will get some siding on it there for the edges, which I do not have that yet. I'll get that next time, probably we're in town. Actually, we looked, I didn't see it at Home Depot, so I'm gonna have to find some edging or order some white edging. There's some helpers, Mariah and Lexi and Jenny. And the roof went on really fast. I noticed that the horses like to stand here in the new corral that we put together when Lexi arrived or Mustang. So th this is going to make a really nice wind block for them from the west wind. And there it is, Sunday night. And most the main part of the shelter is finished. A great thing is we have a lot of tin, I think enough to build the next part of the shelter. Okay, there I'm just kind of experimenting Sunday night with putting some wood on in the center. There is the next day where Maria is putting some interior walls up from the old barn wood and Ruger and Candy approve. What we did with the inside then is we took the old barn wood from the chicken coop and we put it in here from this 2x4 to that 2x4 because this will house horses and will be their shelter. Now in the hay barn that was we put up like five years ago, it does not have that because it's just housing hay. So, you know, horses could kick and all that. But to be honest, I just love the look of this and i like that we use the old barn wood and i just think it's really pretty and i want to hang a hammock from there to that pole and just relax out here so we painted the top red barn what's it called barnwood red and we put these up and we're not finished we're going to put some more there where you see the white and so that's what we did use the chainsaw to cut it and we both screwed these up and let's take a walk around maria Let's show the outside. There, I need to get a piece of white corner tin. What's that stuff called? Trim for here and for that side. Let's come over here so they can see this. And I'll get a piece of white trim for there. That uh, This stuff all has names, but I don't know what it's called. But that's for when we get the rare east wind that comes this way. So it protects the roof from being lifted up and in the wind so i do have i will get a white roof trim <laughs> that will go from the top and down to the bottom and on the back possibly get a white trim but in case i don't can't really see i painted it barn red under there under the treated wood and the roof comes out enough that the rain should not hit it but and we will also get one for that side a corner piece so other than that it's about finished 
So the plan, as I was saying at the beginning of this video, is to redo this whole barn, this whole shelter, and that was about 25% of it. So this was gonna be just for this year because it's all I can afford. But then we realized we don't need the tin for the other one. That roof has a tin, so I don't need that. And we have leftover tin from this project. So I think we may be building soon <laughs> this section. And then we'll go into winter, winter with a really nice section, a shelter. And we'll also put a wall there for when we get the very, very rare south wind that they will have a shelter and they'll have some sun shelter for when those nose bees, those bugs that bother them come in the summer and they can run there and get in the shade where the bees don't go. So there it is. We call it the big red train because from the other side it's red and um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed this video.